Guys, what's up? We have another Wheelie Wednesday episode. You guys already know that's what's going on. Wednesday means Wheelie Wednesday. So we have a tutorial for you guys this week that's actually going to be super basic. Lauren's out here filming third person angle for me. And this week, guys, we are learning spreaders on the Grom. Spreaders are a super basic trick, specifically on the Grom, because on a big stunt bike, you'd be jumping to your tank and doing a spreader on the tank. On the Grom, you literally just do a spreader sitting on your seat. So this is kind of stepping back to a really basic wheelie, but next week we're gonna be stepping it up to a more advanced wheelie. So make sure to go follow me on Instagram. It's up on the top left corner. Follow Lauren on Instagram as well. And this is honestly gonna be a shorter tutorial, so let's jump right into it. And before we jump right into the wheelies, guys, I'm gonna throw a disclaimer up. We have been doing wheelies for a long time, so we know what we are doing. We know how to keep them safe. We're also on private property, so we are doing them legally. And like I said, we're keeping them safe at a slow speed and off the public road. So if you don't know what you're doing, do not try this at home on your own. All right, guys, so as usual, we are going to be rolling about five miles an hour on the Grom just to keep it safe. And we're gonna do the same basic clutch up, guys. We're gonna pull the clutch in, give it gas, clutch out and get into a wheelie. So this is obviously a sit down wheelie variation because we're doing it while sitting down. So if you guys can hold out a sit down wheelie kind of similar to this, then you guys are definitely ready to take your legs off the bike. So what I was doing right there across the whole lot was just a regular, a regular old foot brake wheelie. If you guys do not know how to do that, click the iCard up here and go learn how to do that. That's the first video we put out. All right guys, so you just saw me wheelie the whole lot using the foot brake. Once you have that down, that's when we're gonna move on to using our handbrake instead. So we're gonna do the same thing, sit down wheelie, but we're gonna go ahead and transition from using our foot brake to the handbrake. So obviously with this trick, you have to have an entire handbrake set up. Again, I'm not gonna say what parts you need and everything, go do your research, but you can't do this trick without a proper handbrake. So now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go across the lot and we're gonna to try to do the exact same style wheelie, just sit down, clutch in, give it gas, clutch out. But instead of using the foot brake, we're gonna be using the lever right here to keep us from going too far back. And once you feel like you have that down for the most part, that's when we're gonna go ahead and move on to taking our feet off the pegs and kind of getting the little spreader style out there with the wheel in the air. Okay guys, so you have that down, so literally next step, here's what we'll do to make it a little easier. We'll do a typical wheelie using the handbrake, like I said, and we're gonna start by just taking one leg off. Just, just kind of hang it wherever you want it. Maybe keep your right foot on since you're gonna be used to using that foot with your foot brake. So just kind of chill doing this for a while using your handbrake. And guys, before you go ahead and just throw your legs in like a full spreader here, what you can do at first is just start by just kind of doing this. Just let your legs hang there. Just get the hang of that. It's gonna give you a general idea of what it feels like to take your feet off the pegs completely and use the handbrake to save your life if you go too far back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now and show you guys because like I said in the beginning, it's pretty basic. So here we're gonna go ahead and clutch up, same as always, and we're gonna just throw both legs off. On the Grom, it's kind of awkward because you're just sitting on the back of the seat and hanging on the bars and swerving. <laughs> so as you guys saw there, it can be a little tricky at first. You might swerve a little, but if you do have a typical Grom, you should have a slight hump on the back of your seat. That's where you're gonna keep your butt. So once again, we're gonna clutch up, get it up there, use our handbrake to keep us from going too far, keep the throttle smooth, once we're comfortable, we're gonna kinda just throw our legs off. And you kinda, you have to be a little flexible, I guess. You can do whatever you want, guys. Spread them, throw them around. So here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn around. I'm gonna try to do one more good smooth one for you guys, and I'm gonna try to actually keep it in a straight line here. All right, guys, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and clutch up again. Get comfortable. And we're gonna take our feet off there. Nice little, nice little spreader. So guys, like I said, this trick is pretty basic. Um, that's why this tutorial was short and may have even seemed like we kind of just blew through it Because if you guys already watched our old videos with the double peg wheelies how to handbrake wheelie how to basic wheelie All you're doing guys is putting all those together and literally taking your feet off the pegs and using the handbrake That is all you're doing guys So if you are not comfortable doing that yet Like I said go watch the other videos they're on the iCard come back to this video And I can pretty much guarantee you guys will be able to do a spreader wheelie on your Grom immediately after that So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and turn around one more time again. I promise this is the last time we're gonna get kind of a back view of what my legs are doing. You're literally guys just throwing your legs up in the air and just trying to make it look as cool as you can. Just kind of spread them, throw them out there. It is a cool looking trick, but on the Grom it is pretty basic. So, if you liked the video and this helped you guys, make sure to like, leave a comment as well. And we will be back next Wednesday guys with a more advanced trick, I promise. So go learn how to do some spreaders and I will catch you guys next week.